Hi, it's Anne here on the Life LDC Couch, and I'd like to continue my review of the Rowan uh, Yarns Fall Winter 2019-20 uh, design collections by looking at the Rowan Knitting Magazine number 66. Things are uh, there's something happening here. Things are new and exciting and different. So get, grab a cup of tea. Uh, or coffee or whatever and uh, sit down and join me. The new Rowan Magazine 66 uh, has, has changed format and if you're a subscriber like me you will get your Magazine 66 like this wrapped up in uh, a cellophane wrapper and it is Rowan Magazine Knitting and Crochet Magazine 66 with Magazine 66 Rowan Focus on Natural Fibers. Two separate uh, magazines combined as one as Rowan 66. From what I gather, if you buy this in um, your local stockist, it's up to the store whether they sell, they sell them together or maybe they might sell them separately if you decide you only want one or the other. But as a subscriber, you get them in this nice package. Magazine 66 features a, a couple on the front and they share their love of hand knits and they're strolling around Cambridge. So let's have a look at these classic designs. There's 25 designs in Rowan 66 and the story is called Book Bound reflecting the location shoot in Cambridge. All the traditional Rowan designers are there. Lisa Richardson, Martin Story, Cafe, Brandon, Arne and Carlos, Galena Carroll, Grace Jones, Georgia Farrell, Emma Wright, and Annika Andrea Wolk, 25 designs. The index page shows you the, uh, the features and an overview of the designers. I'm just going to skip that because there's a couple of things I'm going to want to go into detail later. And then the introduction page to the bookbound story a collection of classic yet modern timeless knitwear photographed in the historic university town of Cambridge. The first one is called a sheep, a sheep. You'll, if, I, if I mispronounce these things and you know how to pronounce them, please let me know. It's a oversized scarf done by Scarf Shawl, done by Martin Story in Alpaca Soft DK. And it's got a little bit of a Fair Isle uh, pattern on it. Three different shades. Very classic uh, design, classic Martin. Adishi by Emma Wright. This is a fabulous cardigan shape with a very deep rib which is repeated on the shoulder and then there is a cable design in the middle of the body. It's done in alpaca soft DK. The next one's called Pullman and it is a scarf by Brandon Mabley and Brandon has uh, developed his color work skills Look at the, the shape, the, uh, the shades that are used there. Vaseline green, electric green really pop out for me. But then there's clay, avocado, celadon, scree, and cinnamon also used in there. I just love this one. The next design is called 
Bretagne by Lisa Richardson. It's in felted tweed. It's a gorgeous scarf that uses um, felted tweed shades in a slip stitch pattern to give it almost looks like it's woven. Then we have Huxley, which is in Kitzel case and felt a tweet also by Lisa Richardson. It's a classic crew neck pullover, but done in the luxurious combination of Kitzel case and felt a tweed by Lisa. The next design is called Larkin, and it's done by uh, Lisa Richardson also in felt a tweed. It refers back to the same. Uh, slip stitch pattern as in the Bretain scarf. It's a very classic, classic design, very reminiscent of a classic Chanel jacket. Larkin in Felta Tweed by Lisa Richardson. Radigan here is a long cardigan. It reminds me of um, of a school, you know, a school uniform cardigan where you might have the school crest down here on the pocket. It's done by Georgia Farrell, and it's an all-over diamond pattern that's been reversed in two colors on the pocket. And you can see by the styling, they've I think they've really worked up the the school sweater uh, angle with the with the uh, the bicycle and the short skirt and the loafers, the Oxford shoes. This next design is called Alderman in Felta Tweed by Georgia Farrell. It's an all over textured pattern with a stripe and what is not uh, obvious right at the first look is the fact that there are three shades used in this striped pattern. Each of those stripes is actually two different shades and one is used, maybe this picture will show it more clearly. You can see that one is used um, showing the pearl bumps on the, the right side. And then that those stripes separate these sections of garter stitch and stocking stitch, little square motifs. The edge of the sleeve is also done with uh, an accent color. And then there is a plain crew neck. I really, I've seen a couple of people are knitting this already on Instagram. It looks great. Golding is a design by Martin Story. He uses felted tweed and kid silk haze. Four shades of each. Uh, a shade of felted tweed and kid silk haze is held together and uh, it's done in this slip, oh, it's not a slip stitch, it's a knit one below pattern. It's very, very, I think this is very classic looking also with the solid colored border and uh, cardigan uh, buttonhole bands. Gorgeous. Shelly is, uh, a, a large scarf shawl. It's done by Martin Story using felted tweed and it uses an oversized cable and uh, separating a lace, a lace openwork section. I love these two. On the left is Hughes felted tweed in kid silk haze by Martin Story. It's a scarf that uses uh, three shades of felted tweed with corresponding three shades of kid silk haze held together. It's knit in the round. It has the rib edges on the bottom. That would be amazingly uh, fabulous to wear. And just think of the color combinations you could use. So Martin's used this same concept in this man's or I would dare I say unisex uh, because we all like a good boyfriend fitting type sweater uh, design called millet felt to tweed in kid silk haze same idea more grays used in this one 
carbon, smoke, granite, steel, and mineral and luster used together down here for the edges. It's actually, um, this is two examples of the colors ways you could use. There's no reason why you can't use the colorway on hues, on millet, and vice versa. If you're, if you're color challenged like some of us. The Woolstone Craft Cardigan is done in Alpaca Soft DK by Lisa Richardson. Unique construction. You uh, knit the front and backs together, right up and over, sort of like uh, the shape of a ruana. The front is open and then it's joined together for the back. And then you pick up stitches and knit down for the sleeves. And you can see here the, the back. Let me see if I can get the back detail here for you. See how it V's in at the back? I like it uh, shown there with the belt and it also looks good worn open. This is a traditional Martin Story long cardigan, solid bands on it, both on the sleeve and the bottom and the front edges with a, an all over tiled fair isle pattern. You can see it in particular there on the sleeve. There's the size of the repeat. And then it's repeated again here. So it's an all over fair isle tiled pattern done in stripes. So if you like a, a fair isle, a stranded knit, and you love felted tweed, this might be the one for you by Martin. It's called Tolkien. Wild in Felted Tweed by Kaif. Kaif is the master of striping in his colors here. He uses nine shades of Felted Tweed in a striped uh, pattern. The body is uh, oversized and it's the, new, the, you know, the current style of boxy. Drops over your shoulders and then the sleeves are uh, knit and joined on. The only thing that I would have to say about this is I think the sleeves, to be honest, are way too wide and floppy. If you change those sleeves to be nice, narrow, current, sh current shaping and styling, I think this would be fabulous because um, I do love the colors of this. But I'm just saying, personally, I think the sleeves miss the mark for styling. Full Cult, Alpaca Soft DK by Lisa Richardson, Big Shawl. Uh, it's done in all sorts of textures, as you can see here. Alternating diamond shapes of textures. This pattern is written out line by line for you. If you are not a chart person, it's also charted, but it is written out line by line, so you don't have to read the chart. Um, it's, it's quite, it looks, it's a big pattern in the book. I've never, I've never actually seen a Rowan pattern written out on four pages before, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this would be really snugly in Alpaca Soft DK. Think of all the colors you could, you could choose. Galena Carroll did this design called Fielding. And you can see the front of it there and the back here. This um, design is done in six shades of felted tweed. It's ch all charted out. And when you look at the, um, the schematic, it's almost like a poncho shape with sleeves. Galena Carroll's done some really interesting uh, felted tweed stranded designs in the last few books. And this is another one. Um, it's really rather intriguing. I love the ribbed, the, rib, the tight ribbed sleeves on this. I think this would be something that I would really love to see in real life.
Holtby, Felted Tweed by Annika Andrea Wolk. I love this one. <laughs> so classic. V-neck man's pullover. It uses two shades here, shown in carbon and barn red. And it is, it's got a section to sort of fade between those two shades. I really like this. Um, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to knit things, but I, I think that I would love to actually love to knit this for the hubby. Lang in Alpaca Soft DK Grace by Grace Jones. This is um, deceptive, a deceptive pattern at first glance. You don't realize that it is knit in one piece. The body's knit and then separated for the sleeves. And the front pieces go up and over and there's a section knit that goes up and around and is joined at the center back. It's shown here in a blue, um, which is nice, but I think in a gray, a dark gray, a uh, very neutral color, it would be a really basic piece for your, a layering piece for your wardrobe. Here's that Pullman scarf and felt to tweed by Brandon Mabley again. This time it's shown on a woman. It was previously shown on a man. And again, it looks lovely, love the colors in it. And this photograph is to show how fabulous it looks over top of this, the Haddon tunic length pullover, V-neck, deep V-neck pullover done in felted tweed and kid silk haze held together by Lisa Richardson. Finally, Rowan are doing felted tweed and kid silk haze held together. Everybody's been doing other patterns with felted tweed and kid silk haze and now Rowan are doing it. Beautiful classic, classic piece. Looks absolutely fabulous with that striped scarf over top of it, don't you think? The Elliott scarf here on the left by uh, Lisa Richardson is um, a striped with fair isle sections scarf done in felted tweed. It's knit in the round. Love the shades in that one. And on the right here is a design called Bennett. It's also done in felted tweed. Uh, this is an actually, it uses two shades in a twisted stitch pattern. You knit the body in the round, you knit the sleeves in the round, and then they're joined, and then you can see that there is a yoke construction. Really interesting um, design from Lisa there. Then comes this Elliot cardigan. This references back to the Elliot scarf. Same motifs used in it in a different combination. I love the way the motifs are low contrast then a higher contrast separated by stripes. The stripes on the cuffs and on the, the ribbing. Looks great. They're shown with the, uh, what is that, cinnamon colored pants. Very rich and lush looking. There's some more views of it. Then on the left here we have the Morrison uh, by Georgia Farrell. It's an alpaca soft DK. It is knit in pieces and it's an interesting um, sort of a broken rib here pattern, knits and pearls, uh, sort of staggered pattern. It's a high-low design. The front is shorter than the back it ha and it has a high neckline. Then on the right here we have Haney in Felted Tweed by Arn and Carlos. And this is um, a feral design. 
knit in pieces with the um, the solid color at the top and the high neckline. I like that also. I'm a I love turtlenecks and I'm really liking all these high necklines for the winter. Here's a close-up view of the Morrison. And that's it for the designs in the main uh, collection of Rowan Magazine 66. As usual, it also has, this magazine has featured uh, features on the new Island Blend Yarn, an island story. I'll talk about more of, about that in a minute. And it shows the new collections that are available being produced this year, this season. Then we talk about Mode at Rowan which is uh, a new concept for Rowan. I'll be going over that too as I'm going to be um, reviewing this mode collection one. And basically it, it's sort of, um, what they're trying to do is present timeless knitwear that are stylish, but they're not so stylish that you're going to, you know, either fall out of love with them or you're gonna hate the color in the, f the future because they are, they're shown and featured in sort of a tonal color collection. And the stores that are stocking the mode at Rowan are setting up their displays like that too. So you'll be able to see it in your local stockist. There's also these smaller collections of uh, four or six designs based on the different yarns. Keeping it simple, they call it for mode at Rowan. Of course, be a subscriber and then it goes into all the patterns the stockists per country are listed here pages and pages of stockists and as usual I love this gallery page at the back because you can quickly look up the pattern you're looking for and see what page it's on the photographs are on and the patterns are on there you go, so that's the Rowan Main Magazine 66. And now we'll look at the Rowan Focus. In the main Rowan Magazine 66, there is an article on the new Rowan yarn. It's called Island Blend. It's an absolutely gorgeous yarn. It's made with Falkland, fine merino wool, baby alpaca, and silk comes in a 50 gram skein. It is uh, of course hand wash, lay flat to dry, don't iron it, don't put it in a dryer, don't machine wash it. It's, and if when you touch it, you will realize how absolutely gorgeous this yarn is. It's, I've actually fallen in love with it. It's so, it, it's such a basic yarn looking yarn it's plain it's but it's so elegant to touch it's so luxurious to knit with i've actually fallen in love with it and uh it yes it is pricey it's a premium yarn but it is when you think of the origin the falkland island merino fleeces they are known for their beautiful white fleece and the uh, sort of the moderate temperate climate there it doesn't have it's not really hot like the merinos have to deal with in Australia so it's 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 developed farmed sort of organically there's no mule slinging there's no dipping it's it's these sheep are raised for their fabulously fine fleece isn't it gorgeous and the other yarn that Rowan Focus uh, features is the new Cashmere Haze. Very similar, you might think, to the Kid Silk Haze. The Rowan Cashmere Haze is actually finer. It has, let me see, it has 230 meters, which is 252 yards. The Kid Silk Haze has 210 meters. 230 yards. So the cashmere uh, haze has 230, 22 more yards 
per 25 gram ball. So in, in the big scheme of things, yes, it's ever so uh, subtly thinner, but totally interchangeable. It is used in a couple of the patterns in this collection, either Island Blend and Cashmere Haze or Island Blend and Kid Silk Haze, depending on what colors you, you want to use. You have the option of using either. You'll see here the new Rowan labeling on the Cashmere Haze and on the Island Blend. They're going for this basic sort of charcoal black color with um, silver printing. This is the old Rowan label here on this Kid Silk Haze that I have. So let's have a look at Rowan Focus. It is a collection of 15 designs by Lisa Richardson that all used um, the Island Blend, Cashmere Haze, or at times Kid Silk Haze. But as I said, I think that you can uh, substitute Cashmere Haze for Kid Silk Haze and vice versa. Always sort of the overview page that give you a quick glimpse into the designs. You'll see they used a very muted palette here. The first one is called Breath. It's by, of course, Lisa. It's done in the Cashmere Haze. It's uh, a raglan pullover. It's shown quite body fitting, let's say that. It's very slim fitting here on this model. Personally, I wouldn't like it that slim fitting, but it is knit at a very large gauge for this yarn. And that seems to be a, a style that we have right now. So we'll need to have a t-shirt or a, a little camisole underneath it. But wouldn't that be a fabulous layering piece? A little sleeveless top here with a lace design, an open work design on it. It's called Halcyon. It's shown here in Cashmere Haze and it's uh, very lacy open work. You'll see there's a little pattern. Um, looks like it's on the designated side uh, seam because this is actually knit in the round up until the armholes and then split. With the v-neck on the back and the crew neck on the front, I would think that this, you'd be able to wear this, um, reverse it and wear either to the front or the back, which would make it very versatile as a, as a layering piece. Hushed by Lisa Richardson. I love the styling on this with the, with the cap here and the big over the knee boots. Uh, this is done in the Island Blend. The very interesting construction. The overall shape is, is slightly A-lined in the body and what happens is you cast on the rib and then you, you in the round and then you knit up one side front and back and then you pick up and knit up the other side front and back and then it's joined. You'd have to see it to uh, to get the thing. It's, it's unique construction. This scarf is called Calm. It's knit in Island Blend and it is um, a knit one below so a brioche uh, Brioche stitch scarf would make it uh, absolutely gorgeous and, and squishy, lovely and squishy. I would think this would be fabulous. Here's another picture of Hushed here. You can see her, she's standing up. And this scarf is worn over Hushed and you can see that there is a seam. The two pieces are seamed up the front and there's the eyelets on either side. Very unique construction of this Hushed design. I love the, the big double page spreads that, that are, these are artsy spreads. They make, to me, they make Rowan, uh, the big main Rowan magazine is like a coffee table book. I keep it out. I look at it, look at the, the lichen all over the, the uh, 
the stonework of the building and, uh, and the bench work and just gorgeous. Little preview of what's to come on the next page. It's called Serene and it is in Cashmere Haze by Lisa, of course, a, a, um, a large scarf shawl. It is knit um, sections of garter stitch and then separating the cable, the large cables and it's knit at a very loose gauge. Mild is a jacket knit in uh, the combination of Island Blend and Kid Silk Haze. It is crocheted and you can see it's got a large uh, collar on it. You can also see it here. It's shown here with um, a cashmere haze crocheted scarf that we're going to be seeing in a f just a couple of pages from now. Ah, look at this. There's that little uh, that little lacy top. Halcyon shown there underneath this cardigan. Here it is, it's called Rhythm. A really plain uh, raglan cardigan just zhuzhed up to the next level with the use of these baubles on the sleeves. So if you're not a bauble person, you could of course take those baubles off, but um, what a statement. I just, I just love this and I really think it looks great with the little, uh, the little sort of t-shirty, lacy t-shirt, open work t-shirt underneath. These two accessory pieces, the Ease Hat and the Quell Mitts, they're both done in cashmere haze. The cashmere haze is held double and both are done uh, in the round. No seaming up on this hat. And you see it here with this absolutely gorgeous big coat coat again and here it is here it's called breeze it's in island brand and kid silk case the pattern also gives you the combination of island blend and cashmere haze brioche stitch shawl collar pockets an interesting back detail. The piece, the raglans go up and over and meet in the center back. Not a great picture here to show it, but that's what happens. Here's that scarf that was shown earlier. It's called Harmony. It's in Kitsil K's and it is a crocheted scarf. We see some more pictures of it. And right now it is being worn over. No, it's being worn over a sweater. We will see that in a moment. Next one is called Peace. It is a sleeveless vest style, um, unique in that the shoulders are a little bit cut in. There are side slits and it has a um, cowl collar on it. It's a seed stitch pattern with columns of uh, knit stitches going up and you can see it here it is worn over the breath raglan pullover. The tranquil cardigan in cashmere haze features uh, front ties which are used to wrap around. They are uh, attached to the front pieces. Here it's shown over the piece vest. You can just see the breath cashmere haze raglan pullover underneath there. So this shows three layers of knitting at one time. The 
Quench Scarf is knit in Cashmere Haze. It uses three shades. Uh, two strands are held together at a time, and that way you sort of blend the colors from one color block to another. And the last design is cool. We, we saw a little preview of it earlier. It's v-neck on the front and back. It's oversized. It is has a split hem, uh, drop shoulders, knit in the Island Blend and Cashmere Haze held together. And I was interested in this little uh, feature. I guess that holds the, because it's a deep V on both front and back. That's actually a piece of lace ribbon that you use to do that with. Now just to show you all the designs in this booklet were um, knit up and photographed in sort of the natural color, um, maybe a pale gray, but the Island Blend comes in 10 shades. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and try and show you. Island Blend comes in a selection of 10 shades and you can see them here ranging from white, ash gray, blush, the most palest of pinks, jet, marine blue, lemon, yellowy green, empire of purple, moss, a darker green, root master, and leather. And I had to ask the hubby about root master. I knew it had to have a specific reason why they called it root master. And he tells me that the London buses were a red, Rootmaster red. So that's where that came from, I'm pretty darn sure. Then you have the Cashmere Haze. It comes in eight shades. The softest, softest of blue dawn, it's called. Twilight and dusk, two different grays. Gloam, black. Umbra, brown, moonbow, a beigey brown, sunrise, very similar to blush, and polar night, eight gorgeous shades. Then we have the collection of patterns, size guide, the care, etc. as usual. So now if you're not into um, hard copy books anymore, you're more into the digital world, you can buy the Rowan Knitting and Crochet Magazine 66, the complete package via the Rowan Magazine app. But you also can buy the Magazine 66 Rowan Focus on Natural Fibers separately on the Rowan website. And if you click on this, it's supposed to, yes, here it comes. It opens up Rowan Magazine 66, the Focus on Natural Fibers. It's 12 pounds for all of the patterns or that's all 15 patterns or you can actually buy these patterns as individual downloads if you're only interested in one or two for four pounds each. This is something totally new for Rowan. Um, they have uh, they do not sell like buy the hard copy, get the digital copy also, but they are beginning to offer things uh, digitally if you prefer to have digital copies rather than hard copies. So. The Rowan Complete Magazine, both, uh, both editions, both magazines that make up the package via the Rowan app or the if you're interested just in the focus, it's available on the Rowan website. So here's the Rowan app. Ooh, 
can see it's offering the Rowan 66 magazine. It consists of two separate elements, the main Rowan magazine and Rowan Focus. It does not offer Focus as a separate entity here. So lots of options for you. Um, Rowan's covering all the bases these days.